Well, we are here on Cornices Creek. This is Berkeley. If you cross the uh, the bridge right here, you are in Albany. And and what happened behind me here? Uh, sort of a collision of, of terrible circumstances and what some might call a little lack of thought for the creek here. Uh, hundreds of dead fish, all of this the result of a garbage truck fire. Yeah, this is a fish kill. Hundreds of fish probably um, dead in Cotonesis Creek. I counted 40 between 6th and 8th streets. Hundreds of dead fish, the aftermath of yesterday's Berkeley garbage truck fire. Now, the fire department tells me their primary concern yesterday was two natural gas cylinders on the top of that fire truck. That is a new feature, I am told, on those trucks. And firefighters were afraid they might explode by those homes. So the foam was used to protect the cylinders. The problem, some of that foam eventually reached. Cotonissus Creek. Someone came in and said, hey, there's, there's dead fish in the creek. Neighbors weren't the only ones counting dead fish today. We saw three employees from the city of Berkeley poking around and one officer from the California Department of Fish and Game. As you can see, he had collected a bag full of dead trout. Now, that firefighting foam, Class A foam, it works by cutting off a fire's oxygen supply. When it reaches water, it will do the exact same thing to the fish. It just takes away their oxygen. An attorney for SF Baykeeper says he understands the circumstances, but wishes more could have been done. We have a lot of respect for what the firefighters need to do. They're protecting all of us. Um, there's no doubt about that. You know, and maybe in the heat of the moment, as it were, uh, you're worried about the, the garbage truck blowing up. Um, maybe you don't have time to put those storm drain blocks in right away. But, um, you know, it had to flow all the way down the hill. I've seen the pictures of a big wash of foam coming down that hill. It had to flow all the way down the hill. Um, and maybe they had time afterwards to at least stop some of it. It doesn't look like any of that was done. Okay, I took that question directly to uh, the Berkeley Fire Department uh, late this afternoon. Battalion chief tells me that, yeah, when they deploy that foam, it is, it, or at least yesterday, was considered a life-saving measure. It was an emergency measure. He says there is no real protocol when you deploy the foam to be ready to catch it all. It's a decision that you've made, and you have to follow up afterwards. Now, you know, could more have been done to keep that foam from spilling as far as it did? I think that is something people are going to be looking at in sort of, you know, in, in, the, in the near term future here. We saw the city out here investigating. We saw the state out here investigating. You've heard that there are neighbors here that are concerned about it. I think this is something people will look at. Was there more that could have been done to keep the foam out of the creek? Liz? Yeah, the priority at that moment, though, when the flames are raging, is to put out that fire. Yeah. Right. Tough right, well, call. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Wilson.